How is it going guys? Back with another video and in today's video I'll be showing you how to change the music of your Skyrim and if you can hear some like background noise, just a tiny bit of background noise I have Skyrim running and that's just the ambient sound in the background that like constantly plays it's like wind and things so just, I don't know, try to ignore that uh, the only reason I've got it to run is because my uh, my uh, what's it called what is this uh, GeForce experience is a bit glitchy I mean it is in beta so it, uh, I've got three monitors and sometimes it records the wrong one and it all screws up but I think it should work um, on this monitor here but yes basically first of all basically I don't know you need this one little, little thing uh, which I shall show you where to get. It's uh, all on the uh, Nexus, so it's all good. And it's called the uh, Skyrim Audio Converter. I, uh, if I can remember, put it in the. Uh, I'll put it in the description, and uh, it should look something like that. And uh, it's super easy to use, and it's it is really easy to change the music and things. But uh, the first one I shall show you. Uh, is the main menu so basically when you're on the start and you can press new game load and things so if I can be like a wizard uh, not that one uh, downwards I'm gonna try and find it now uh, audio converter so basically once you've basically downloaded it you have to download it manually not through the uh, little uh, thing of wob uh, you have to download it manually. So once you've basically extracted it to your whatever folder you want, uh, click on that. Just saying, it took me two attempts to download this because I didn't have all of this and the bin. I only had this and this, which it didn't work. But click this, let it load, and obviously it pops up. And I'll just take that and put it over here a minute. So basically, this. Uh, basically, you can add files, invert, selection, remove, selected, cancel, all that. Uh, you can have that. I don't know what that country is, but or you can have this. And um, basically, you need actual music you want to basically change. So I'm going to go into my music folder. Uh, I'm going to a new one because I'm hardcore over here. Uh, go into my music. Uh, I've already got like Skyrim music, so that isn't Skyrim, obviously, but it's snazzy, I guess. Uh, I shall go for uh, instrumental. I don't know. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, all of these are copyrighted anyway. So as soon as I start the game, I'm gonna quickly get out of it because I don't want to get any copyright. But um. Uh, basically you can use it in any file format, like music, unless it's obviously something dodgy. But basically I'm going to hit actually, because I've already done these and converted this, already converted these into an XWM file, I might just use a random one, like, uh, 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 Fallout? Yeah? Okay, uh, I'll, I'll probably pick Fallout, but once you basically had a look through, you can add files and basically like have a little look through. So I pick Fallout. What the hell is this? Uh, no, I'm, I'm okay. Uh, so you can look through this. Uh, I'll pick that one. So open that, and once your bit of music's here, you can add a ton. That's what I did anyway. You need to click that. So XWM. If it hasn't been selected, because that is the, the format I asked to be in, for it's actually for Skyrim to read it. So you've already added it and uh, convert selected. So you need to select that. So convert that. Doodly doodly doodly, and that's just popped up. Don't know yet. There you go. It should be finished now. So I'm gonna move that over here, and wherever you basically selected it from on the add file, like basically here. There's going to be another one, basically, with that kind of format. 
So basically, once it's like this, uh, I'll keep that like up here or something. I don't know. Uh, put this over here. And basically, next, what you need to do is find your ste. Well, your basically your Skyrim folder. Uh, I have the Steam version. I don't know whereabouts the normal version is, but uh, I'm sure you can find that. And if you can't, just search it up. But basically, I f uh, if I can remember, it's since this. Just follow what I'm doing right now. Steam. Steam. Oh, so Daisy. I'm so lost. The Steam apps, I think. Common. And all these apps and things. Uh, uh, have I gone past it? Yes. Skyrim. And basically, once you're in here, I put this up here. Stretch and stretch. Uh, you basically got like. There, all of the Bobby Bobs. Click on data. You got all of these, uh, all your like mods and add-ons and things. Uh, I created a file called music, so uh, I suggest just doing that and naming it music, so you don't get everything mixed up and things. So click on that. I've already added these things, and uh, I don't know why, but I tried this and just plopped plopped it in. But you can't do that. You have to name them, main name the file a certain thing for it actually to read it. So for the actual uh, starting thing, you're gonna have to click special. I've already got one, uh, but I'm gonna obviously replace it. Uh, I don't know where I'm gonna put it. So I wanna, I wanna keep that. Um, <clears throat> I probably rename it like I don't know. Take that M off. But yeah, you're going to have to name it like that, but basically you're going to copy this, so copy, and you're going to paste, and obviously it's not going to read it when it's all, all Art New Vegas, Johnny Guitar apparently, I randomly picked that out, I couldn't really, um, so basically what you need to do now is rename it, keep the XWM and the dot, just to be careful, you know, don't delete the dot, and you need to name it MUS uh, underscore main uh, theme, and that's it basically. That's uh, not that one, but this one that's going to play whenever you obviously start up the game. Uh, I, I'll try and make it work. Uh, quit, uh, you know, go to main menu, and it should start playing. Never mind, I, it broke. Mainly because of this, I am probably, I hope, <laughs> oh dear, but believe in yourself, it'll work, believe in yourself, okay, start, fingers crossed, please, don't die on me, <sighs> okay, poop, Have a look. I don't know if you can hear that. Yep, so basically I've proved that it does work. And uh, yeah, I think it's just because I named the other one a bit dodgy. So basically I only have one main theme kind of thing. But you can have more. If you want to change all of this music in Skyrim, you're going to have to get another thing, because, I don't know, you probably can't revise this whole thing, and obviously other things. So, um, you need another little thing from the Nexus, which I shall show you. It is called BSA Unpacker, there it is. And download it manually, like you normally do. Go onto files, wherever you basically put it. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna, and I ba mine basically got thingy ball bobs downloaded here. BSA Unpacker, click on all that. Uh, click on this. <clears throat> and basically, you need to try and find the data folder so you can open all the uh, music and things. So you need to click open. And um, basically, uh, Obviously, find your Skyrim, so uh, I'm going to redo all this because I'm 
Whoa. <laughs> uh, click on that, find your Skyrim th via Steam or whatever. Uh, Steam. Uh, Steam apps. Common. Um, <clears throat> um, I've gone past it again, Anna. Yep. Steam. I mean, Skyrim, sorry. Uh, and data. Basically, open that. And basically, I, it should be like this. Oh, wait, no. You need to go into this and you need to find, I think it's music or sound. Yeah, it sounds. You need to click on sounds and open. Unknown, oh, blah, blah, blah. Just click OK. Oh, yes. And basically, it's got a bunch of these like thingies, like every single sound that you can find in Skyrim. So it's a lot. <laughs> so basically... Then you extract all, and basically once you've extracted it to a certain position, like I did, uh, in I think I extracted it to my music folder, and called it Skyrim Sounds. Once you've extracted it, it, it basically you'll come across these two. And sounds are like, I don't know, like, I won't touch these personally because it can get really difficult. Like, gray Greybeard Rumble? Uh... A random party. Uh, I don't know what these are. Alduin Death. Uh, a bunch of all Alduin Deaths. But I wouldn't touch these. I would do the just the music because yeah, it's just easier. And uh, what's it called? Basically, all of these uh, are all the musics. So I don't know what Dread is, but apparently I, I haven't touched it really. Dungeon is explanatory, you can pick a cave or just normal music dungeon. Uh, and you may be thinking why do you need this, and it isn't connected up to your Skyrim, so if you, I don't know, change all this, it won't do anything. Because you need another, you need that normal Skyrim. Okay, so this one, whoops, okay, there's so many files, it's like uh, okay, I'm gonna move that over here. But, okay. Um, I'm sorry if I'm really sorry, like, really, I don't know. I haven't scripted this at all, I'll just bloop it and be like, yeah, I'm cool. But basically, uh, what I would do at first, just to see if it works, I would just use the tavern one. So basically, what this little uh, mod does, that obviously extracts all the thingies, so you know what the what what they're all called. It basically shows you like what they're all called. So let's just say because this is this file is in Skyrim, so common Skyrim data music. Basically, basically. Uh, that's called special, and obviously because it's all been extracted, that's called special, the file. So basically, what's in here is obviously the main theme and all that. And obviously I put the main theme, but because it's in the data folder, it replaces anything in this. So basically, if you don't like the music, you just delete it, so I have to delete that, and it'd be easily reset. But, uh, what I would do is... Basically, if you were going to change, I don't know, the tavern music, make a tavern thing so it's easier to section out, and I think it helps with the reading of the, the music. But what I do with this, I click, if you click explore, like here, basically, if you want to get, I don't know, um, I wouldn't, I don't touch those because it it can overlap with the music, so I won't touch those, I'd only touch these. But let's just say if you want this music, like, I don't know, that, all you need to do is bring this in, and select it, let's just say if I want this again, it's all in the format, uh, I'm gonna move this out of the way. All you need to do, this is the Skyrim folder, you need to, just to make sure, come on, come on back. Yeah, just copy this, put it in the this folder, like paste, 
And then, obviously, because it's explore day, explore day number one, two, three, four. You need to basically pick which one. So I don't think I have any spare explore days because it goes up to nine. But I do have explore night up to like four. So I could, this one's free. So basically, all you need to do is copy this. So copy the name of this. Don't delete it. Just copy it. And basically. All you need to do, simple as, delete that and rename it. Simple as. And basically now, that's that song will play at night time. And you can you can use any music, like you can use like dubstep, so you can chuff and run around with dubstep in the background or rock or anything. And the really cool thing is, if you find some good music, like I don't know. Uh, background music from a horror movie with like creaky floors or like whispering or something you can have that as the night like sounds in the background so it'll be super creepy in the background or like let's just say if you find something on YouTube and you know use a converter and we've all done it really but and basically you you want that music in the background like you know screaming in the background I suppose that's pretty cool uh, with the tavern music, if I go back, uh, that's basically obviously in the tavern. But if you have a player home, some music is basically the tavern music. So I don't know if you don't like the tavern music, you can change that to something else. But basically, I suppose that's it. One warning is basically when you're clicking explore and Frostfall, like Frost, Frostfall, yeah, Forestfall, sorry. All this Platte and Day and AB, don't touch it. I spent like two hours sorting everything out, sorting all the music out, not even knowing what A and B meant, then actually getting into game. And this music here was overlapping with the A and the B, so wouldn't, I uh, don't think you should touch that, just use the, uh, uh where is that? Exploration. And day, don't touch any of this uh, unless you know what you're doing. Obviously, reward, uh, reward music. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but you can replace it, I guess. <laughs> Special uh, music intro. So that's like the drums. Uh, so if you want to replace the drums with something, or like big things, uh, and then it's the main thing that I already changed. Special whatever that is. Cart intro. Oh yeah, so if you want to change the music when you're on the cart and you're going into uh, Helgen, you can change that. Uh, and obviously if you wanted to do that, all you need to do, get into your just normal Skyrim folder. Uh, because this is in special, click special. And obviously pick any music you want from somewhere. And convert it with the thing, with the, the Skyrim audio converter, and rename it to that exact thing by copying the name and yeah basically that is it guys uh, I mean if you want me to upload it again this again just explaining it a bit easier because uh, I haven't scripted this I just use I just use my memory uh, you can just do that but basically that is it guys hope you enjoyed the video leave a like if you did and don't forget to subscribe for more Skyrim videos and I shall see you guys in the next video